اقرأ باسم ربك الذي خلق Join us for a 30 part series on Ramadan of victory. بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وبعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says after أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن هذه أمتكم أمة واحدة وأنا ربكم فاعبدون إن هذه أمتكم أمة واحدة Indeed, this nation of yours, this أمة of yours is one nation وأنا ربكم and I am your Rabb, fa'abudun, so serve me, worship me. Sadaqallahu al-Azim, Allah has spoken the truth. This verse from the Qur'an speaks of the profound essence of our strength as an ummah, our unity under the servitude of one Rabb. It's a divine call to solidarity, reminding us that our collective servitude to Allah binds us together, creating a powerful force that can achieve victory. Our unity is not just in shared beliefs or communal worship, but in our concerted efforts to serve the Almighty in every aspect of our lives. When we embody this servitude, we naturally align our actions, goals and intentions towards what pleases Allah, which fosters a united direction for the entire community. In the history of Islam, victories on battlefields were won not just by numbers or military might, but by unity of purpose and the shared resolve to uphold the tenets of faith. Our battles are somewhat different today, but the principle remains the same. Our unity to serve Allah can overcome the challenges we face, whether social, environmental, or moral degradation. The single focus on servitude to Allah demands us to put aside our differences, to forgive each other's shortcomings, and to work towards a common good. It teaches us humility as we recognize that we are all servants of the same Allah and it inspires us to strive for excellence as we seek to fulfill the responsibilities that come with being part of this one Ummah. When we truly understand and live by the concept that our Lord is one and that we are here to serve Him and not our own selfish goals, our Ummah can then stand united against any adversity. The unity in our servitude to Allah is our greatest strength and it is this unity that paves the way for our victory. As we move forward, let us reflect on how we can strengthen our bonds of unity and renew our commitment to servitude. Let our fasting, charity, prayers, recitation of the Qur'an and character be a means towards the unity of this ummah. Let our prayers not leave out any faculty any member, any part of society. Let us remember that our unity and the servitude to one God is not just our strength, it is our victory. When we serve Allah together as one ummah, having that as our priority, then there is no doubt that victory is ours. Aqulu kawli hadha, wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Rasulullah